Welcome to DonaldWad.com. Welcome to another wonderful afternoon here in the studio. Today we'll be recording bass guitar. I'm going to show you exactly how I get the sound that I get in the songs that I write. Today I'm writing a new song, just adding the bass onto it. This particular song requires a very kind of round, punchy uh, bass line. So I'm going to show you exactly how I get the sound. It's really simple actually. It's just you just really need a bass amp and a DI. Okay, so I'll be recording uh, two channels of audio. One's gonna be mic'd and the other one's gonna be a direct signal. I'm using a Shure Beta 52A and this is placed right again, almost touching the grill, very close to the cone. These cones are seven inch cones, so they're pretty small, uh, but they give a nice deep round tone, pretty cool. And for my DI, I'm using the Digitech uh, IPB10 programmable pedal board. On my effects chain here, I'm pretty much only using the envelope filter, which is rolling off a bit of the high end. Uh, so I set the sensitivity fairly low. Blend is about a third. It's not gonna trigger that auto wash sound. It's just gonna pretty much be used as a low pass filter, making a nice round tone. Okay, let's record some bass. For the next video, I'll be taking a look at how I EQ my, uh, my bass, how I'm gonna mix the bass um, within the song to make it sound really nice, really round, really pleasing to the listener. I'm gonna show you how I work in the software. I'm using Repo at the moment, so you're gonna see, but you can, of course, you can use whatever you want, Logic, uh, Pro Tools, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna give you an idea of how I mix and get the song sound really good. So thank you so much for watching, and um, please go ahead and subscribe to the YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and follow us on the web at donaldwa.com. Yeah.